it. All right. Welcome to the debut episode of Fried Fish Friday, where every Friday I go out and I fry some fish on the banks of a body of water. Today, I am at the beautiful Pohick Creek. Um, it's nearby my house, so it's perfect for a pilot episode. Now, I don't expect everything to go right. Um, my hands are already greasy as hell from touching this propane stove that's been used many, many times. And I have one small propane tank that may or may not last us as long as we need to. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible once the propane has started going. Today, I have, I have some cod. Now, I'm doing cod because it's like the vanilla flavor of fish. It's, it's kind of, cod actually is, refers to a many different types of fish, uh, but it's just meant to be just a, a basic, a basic uh, fish you can eat. That's what cod is really, really is. So, oh fuck, this was a bad idea. I should have done this. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I have two pans, and you may be wondering why, why do I have two pans? Well, let me tell you why. First, I have my, my cod, there it is. And I also have a side of broccoli, and I'm gonna make these two simultaneously, and let's go. So let's just, let's just, let's get started. So I looked up, I looked up some uh, helpful information on frying fish earlier, because I don't really know much about frying fish, but I did. I do now. Please tell me I brought a lighter. I brought a lighter, right? Yes, I did. So I learned that you want to heat up the pan first before doing anything. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you put the oil on after that. So I'm going to start by doing that. And then we're going to wait till that's nice and heated up. Cod, cod has two main species. It has Atlantic cod and Pacific cod, obviously. Um, very plain, nothing, nothing to it. It's just Atlantic and Pacific cod. And right now I have Pacific cod straight from Alaska. Um, interesting. Uh, I bought it at Giant, so it's not supposed to be the highest quality, but it's the best we can do for a pilot episode. Cod are very overly bred nowadays that you, you can hardly ever find wild cod. Oh, that's a big filet, holy shit. Okay, well, this is a lot, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, fuck. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cook one filet and take the other part home. So this is the filet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cake it in flour. Uh, this, is what the, this is what that person told me to do. They told cake it in flour, shake off any excess and cake it again. Just get it all in there. I'm just gonna shake that off. And we're gonna leave that there until this pan is nice and hot, and we're gonna put the oil in. So while we're waiting for that to heat up, um, I'll talk a little about cod. So cod is, as, as I said, it's found in Pacific and Atlantic. It's, that's the main areas that it's found in, but it's also just bred in captivity. So when, you, when I talk about this is Pacific cod, it's probably cod that was in the Pacific that someone bred, and now like down the line, it was made in somewhere in like the middle of Nebraska or some shit. And a cod are most, most mainly used in fish and chips and fish sticks. So very cheap fish. It is very cheap fish. This was four bucks for half a pound. And this can feed two people, four if you're in a concentration camp. So it's it's pretty freaking great. Um, it's also, it, it, cod is a very good source for vitamin A, D, and E. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get some good vitamin A, D, and E in here now. In case you didn't know, um, the sun gives vitamin D. So lately, people have not been getting vitamin D. So it's very important nowadays to get your vitamin D. Um, I've been taking pills every morning that have that are like pure vitamin D, 
uh, because I don't want to die if I get corona. Uh, I still have not gotten the vaccine yet, but it's still good to have vitamin D because people have very lacking, are, are lacking vitamin D a lot. Okay, this pan is smoking. So it's ready to pour the oil and get cooking. Now, um, it told me to pour the oil in, swirl the coat, it told me to do that, and then shake this off uh, and just slap it on there. So now it is there and we do not touch it for three minutes, three minutes. So it's 347, we're gonna wait three minutes. Bit, uh, cod usually travels in shoals, which is like those big groups of fish you see, like in Nemo. So what are we? They travel in those kind of shoals and the larger fish actually lead those groups. So it's like an actual, um, they actually protect each other. So the smaller fish are behind the larger fish and they protect each other. Um, they usually they usually eat. Um, make it a cooking show. Perfect scene. I, I, you know, exactly. And so they they travel in shoals. So the, the larger ones protect the smaller fish and it's, it's really cool. So this is the broccoli. Um, I make broccoli like this all the time. It's just olive oil and broccoli and then some salt and pepper on top, which I have in here. So let's just sprinkle that shit on. This propane is running out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this cod. That's not, that's probably not good enough, but um, I went ahead and did it anyway. I'm gonna hope there's enough heat in there. Uh, Okay, there we go. Now we're now we got some more. So this flower. Oh, that was cool. All right, and I have one more fact about cod, which is that they they swim at five inches per second, which if you do the math is like one third mile an hour, which is not not much. They're very very slow fish, um, which makes them really good for breeding, which is why they're bred so much. Because um, when they can't swim as fast they are much easier to get together and they're much easier to kill all in one because they don't swim as fast. Which sounds very dark, and it is. Um, humans suck. So, we're just gonna keep cooking this, and yeah, we'll, um, we'll keep cooking this, and I'll wait until it's done. Uh, I'll talk about this uh, show. Um, it's gonna be a weekly thing. Oh, okay, right, that's fine. It's gonna be a weekly thing uh, every Friday. So I'm gonna go out and film it on a Friday, and over the course of the week, I'll advertise it, edit it, get it hyped up, and hopefully people will watch it. And then on that same Friday that I make it, I will go out and film another one, and the next Friday. So hopefully every Friday, there will be a new episode. It might be every two Fridays sometimes. I'll try not to make it three, but I'm gonna do my best to keep this pretty consistent at every Friday or two. Um, I'm gonna have special guests on in the future, so be excited for that. If you wanna be a special guest, just tell me. Um, I would love that. Um, I hope that I will make good fish, and so you will want to be on here. Because uh, if you don't want to be on here because the fish looks bad, I'm sorry. But already this fish is looking pretty freaking delicious. Let me just get overhead. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's hot. That is some hot fish. The broccoli's not doing too bad either. Um, but yeah, so it's almost done which is good because the propane's almost out. The propane, the propane is out, actually. I do not see any more flame, so I'm gonna rely on the already heat in this. Let's flip it over, see how that side's doing. Okay, that looks better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this down. Uh, the broccoli's still cooking. I mean, it's, it's hot, so it's good enough. I wanna keep it warm. I don't wanna eat cold broccoli. Cold broccoli is disgusting, I don't know. Anyways, the show. Uh, this show was inspired by my friend Carlos. Uh, I've, I didn't tell him I'm making this yet, um, so it's gonna be a pleasant surprise for him when he sees this. Uh, he has a show called Tea Tasting Tuesdays. Uh, which is really entertaining. It's, uh, it's what it is, what it says, it's tea tasting on a Tuesday. Uh, it's really cool. I'll link that in the description to check it out. That's inspiration for this. Um, and I hope one day he will be a guest on here, unless he doesn't like fish. Uh, and I hope that he knows that I do not mean this in any mean way. I took some inspiration from you, Carlos. I did not copy you. Um, 
So thank you for the idea. And this is really fun already. This is great. This is great. Uh, next week, I'll make sure to bring more propane. And I also want to bring a chair. I want to sit down because this table was a lot shorter than I remember. But it's really cool. It's a table in a bag. My dad got that like four years ago and we used it like twice. Uh, but it's really cool because it's so portable. It's like a foldable table, but it's like rolled up. It's so nice. Uh, as you saw, it was in that bag earlier. It's just the bag. It's great. I uh, highly recommend the table in a bag, but uh, sadly not sponsored by table in a bag. All right, so fish is not sizzling anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off and hope, hope to God that it's cooked through. If it is not, then this has failed greatly, and this will make a great first episode. The broccoli looks fine because it's broccoli. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn that shit off. Um, I have a lemon here that I'm gonna squeeze on top of the, 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 the cod, and I will also sprinkle some salt and pepper on top of the cod. So now, now I'm down here, sorry about that, but I'm gonna move this camera to focus on the food. I'm gonna cut this lemon. I'm just gonna give it a little slit. All right. What a waste of a lemon. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if this is a waste of a lemon, but I know I don't know when I'm gonna use it again. And it's biodegradable. So fuck that. It's a lemon. Hopefully a deer has some a good meal now. So I'm just gonna try it. Let's let's try this cod. All right. So far, it does not look. It does not look um, undercooked. It looks pretty good. Oh. Oh, fuck, that is good. Dude, that is so good. I'm not gonna lie. That is some of the best cod I've ever had. That was so good. Okay, second bite. Second bite, focus, okay. Dude, that is good. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah, cod on the tier list. Now cod, like I said earlier, is kind of the, the vanilla of, uh, of fish. So for that, I think I'm gonna bump it up to a B because usually I put it at C because it's just like, it's, it's okay. It's a B. Okay. Well, I'm going to get packing up now. So thank you for joining me on this first episode of Fried Fish Fridays. And I will see you hopefully next Friday. Thank you for watching.